Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Summers Bison. Just bison ranching out here in the winter. The tire tank's frozen. That's how cold it is. Double forked it. Got two of them. Thought I'd try it. the wind chills that are awful. Hey Jackie. I know it's chilly. Look at this, guys. Okay, I'll get you some food. I need to bust this, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and start the Polaris. And get it running just in case. Keep that battery on the up and up. Oh, it's serious, putting off some fume. She's cold too, baby. Woo. Man. There it is, she's warming up now. Good to go. We are at the Ponderosa, obviously. Now, it is, uh, it's cold, right? It's cold. Um, taking care of the dogs. Got the Polaris that started running. Got the New Holland warming up. Got to put out some hay for the critters. It's that time to get them squared away. The wind is blowing, it's crazy. Uh, temperatures are dropping. So, fun stuff, right? part of farming it's not an eight to five job you know it right no farming or ranching job is eight to five it is uh all the time and you got animals to take care of and they need they need your attention so we got to tend to them and take care of them no matter what so here we go let's get to work Some of you are like, oh, it's dusty. He's just putting out hay to his bison again. I know. Well, yeah, that's what we do. It's winter. It's cold. There's some snow on the ground. These guys need fit. You see how excited they get. They want their, they want their hay. Woo. Doesn't bother them any. Tough, tough animals.
that big thick layer of hair that hide right there is all protected a lot of insulation on those hides It is chilly out there. Um, got a bell of hay to the yearlings. Got a bale of hay to the big Joe herd. It's dusting right now. It looks like there's still some snow coming down. Not a whole lot of snow out there. Uh, mostly, like I said, a lot of dust, dusting. But um, man, I am lucky and blessed on days like this to have a skid steer that is completely a closed cab, uh, has a heater in it um very blessed and thankful for that especially on days like this us oklahomans guys we are not used to this type of weather and um i know some of you are in the north have, have had it a lot worse than we have had um but uh, the bad thing about today is yes the temperatures are are pretty low but it's the wind it's the wind chills that are awful lucky to also have an animal that is very tough and you don't have to put bison in a barn or anything like that. Maybe if you had a fresh born calf, possibly just like in cattle, this time of the year, if, if cattle are, are calving, you've got to do those sort of things, but um, you shouldn't be having any red dogs this time of the year. So it, we're thankful that you don't have to do it with these animals and they were built for this weather, right? These animals survived the last ice age. You got to think about that. <laughs> And so the, the animals that we raise today is what's left from that, which is pretty, pretty amazing. So I'm going to go check on this water, um, automatic water I have over here that I got going a couple days ago before this weather hits. Automatic water tank looks good. We got flowing water here. This is the only source of water that is not frozen today. Got the heating element in it, as you can see here, got the heat strip wrapped around the main line. The yearlings are able to use it. And the calves that are in this lot are able to use it too. And you can see the dogs are able to drink out of it as well. Come on, hooligans. Let's get out of this. We just got to Mom and Kevin's to the Dunbar herd. Got the green feeder filled up. I'm gonna back up to it, get her hooked up. We're gonna pull it over here and, and uh, I'm gonna put it over here with these bulls. Oh yeah. Looks like two new tires are holding up. Peter's good to go. Kevin locked these bulls up for me so I could pull in here without no one escaping. Basically, there is an escapee in here, Eleanor's bull. Right there. Ooh. We need some grease on that. Buddy. He's gonna go straight for the feed. Not where he's going. Where's the other little bull? Here he comes. Coming in hot. Woo! Buddies. Yeah, they're excited. Battling through the blast. Hey, little Nor. There's Mama. Little Nor. Tire tank's frozen. That's how cold it is, guys. It's hard for these things to freeze. They will freeze. Kevin and I have learned that. But it has to get very cold here to do this. So we've got to bust this one up for the yearlings, Eleanor, and a little Nora here.
boat, Nora. Hey, Eleanor. Some water. All these deer. Deer came up and they're eating some of that green, some of them winter grasses. Oh, there's a little buck coming up there. They gotta eat too. Oh. Just ran some does off. Well, hello. Hello, sir. Dunbar himself. So the other day, I pulled through here to put out that tub. Peaches has been giving me some heck. And basically, here she is right there. She's always the first one up. Peaches uh, came through the gate, got out here. Kevin's been saving this pasture to put the bison in. Um, he threw some seed out here and there's some winter grasses that have came up here Obviously slowed down since it got cold, but he was waiting to put them out here Christmas came early to the uh, to the Dunbar herd. They got to come out here and um, Hit the green grass a little bit earlier than I wanted, but uh, that's okay. They uh, they love it and they've been on it um, pretty good, so Now they're just wanting cubes. So they're still getting hay, but uh Looks like they already busted it. Check out those cool eyes. There you go, about a half inch thick. And they already busted it. Oh, it's easier to talk in here. It's so windy out there, guys. <sighs> okay. I apologize if it has been windy through this video, but um, <laughs> these are the conditions. Um, well, I busted the ice. I got um, those bulls taken care of with the feeder and uh, checked on Eleanor and all them. They're doing good. Her and her little calf. Dunbar herd is doing great. They're out grazing on some green grass, which is nice, especially this time of the year. You get a little change up from uh, just cubes and, and hay, and now they get a little green grass. So uh, you'd actually you'd be surprised how much these animals actually drink when it's cold. Uh, I think it must be something with their thermal um, temperature and all that. They may have to drink more to stay warmer. Uh, they've, these animals got such a thick hide, it doesn't... It doesn't matter. They can take these extreme temperatures. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to continue this again, right? Just bison ranching. Tomorrow, we're going to see if the ponds are frozen, and then we're going to check all the uh, water systems and make sure they're good and they're not frozen up um, at the Ponderosa. And then Kevin will probably be here at the Dunbar herd checking all them and making sure they're good. So it looks like everything will probably be frozen in the morning. Um, it's currently 7 degrees um right now so uh we're just gonna count on busting ice in the morning is probably what we're gonna do so do some other things around the ponderosa make sure everything is good over there so hey maya what are you doing maya hey girl come on come on maya hey girl hey maya Did you guys play in the snow Hey, Jackie. Oh, Woo! 
Back for day two. You gotta love the ranch life, right? Bison ranching. Woo! It is cold today. Got some snow left. Bison are a little slow today. They're not as spunky. They were like, oh, that was cold last night. Yeah. Charlie and Maya and Jack, we were fine. They're living a dream out here. Yep, a little pokey today, but we're, uh, we're getting there. Give them a fresh bell of hay. They'll be happy with that. You guys will be happy. You guys awake? It's almost Christmas. Christmas. I see you looking. 1504. I see you. Hey, just be, just be happy where you, uh, that you're here and not where you came from. Because in South Dakota, whoo, I think it's cold there. I think they got a, some snow. Yikes. You guys are lucky. Canada, Canada. I know, I know that's cold up there too. Snow and minus whatever temperatures. Yeah. No, thank you. You guys should be, you guys should be lucky and thankful that you're here in the south. Bunch of bison. Well, well, these guys, they're getting so big. They're so pretty right now. Their hide is so pretty. I, I love this time of the year because, uh, they just, this is like the full extent of what a bison should look like is in the winter time. They get all that thick hide and stuff. So anyways, uh, they're all straggling up here a little bit. I got to go check some ponds to see if it's frozen. Everything at the barn was frozen today, uh, this morning, which I knew it would be. Um, but I'm going to go check the ponds and probably bust some ice. Uh, got a hammer, uh, in the skids here. I'm going to go bust some ice with. Um, probably put out another bill of hay to the Big Joe herd, so let's get to work. Double forked it. Got two of them. Thought I'd try it. Try it. Get two. And there I did. So I'm gonna take one over here to the yearlings. I like to leave them one in this pasture. Just put them one over there. Make them rotate back and forth just like they did a long time ago and have done for hundreds of years. Make them roam around. So put out one over here. And this one is for the Big Joe herd. So you guys know every time I hit record, I'm using my nose. Can't, gloves won't pick up the phone, but whoa, a little frozen today. I knew it would. How about that? Seen it. Oh yeah. Ideally, you're not supposed to use a hammer. I just happen to have one in the skidster with me, but here on the edge of the pond but I've never seen it this thick uh, frozen before so I busted some of it here maybe the bison will find it they should be able to to bust it themselves as well but I'm not just gonna go through here and bust some of these I definitely need to bust these so that they're they can at least break through them whenever they need them again There's the rest of them up there. They're all sleeping, hanging out. And then you got the big guy here. Came and put out a new bell and big guy, he's got it all to himself. Big guy's happy, got him some hay. I'm gonna go bust some more ice on the ponds for the yearlings now. And for these guys I actually need to go bust some for them. So uh, this is fun stuff, all part of it.
Folks, I'm gonna try something new here. No judgment, right? No judgment. But it seemed like something to do. Bad boys. I know it's muddy. Water will settle. Um, I know I stirred it up, but I had to. But you can see how thick this stuff is. Man, it's pretty thick. Uh, the pallet force would have probably worked a little bit better just because they have a flat surface on them, but pallet forks are all the way up at the barn and I was already here putting out hay. So I think it, uh, I think it works pretty well things a skid steer can do so that'll work at least it's busted for now and uh basically um i know this will refreeze ideally you come in here and you scoop up all this stuff out and you throw it away and get it out of here um ideally you get this stuff out but a bucket may work pretty well too uh on this the bucket's up there but um, hopefully they'll find this. I broke two spots for them and then since it's broken, hopefully they actually will keep it um, broke uh, These animals are so smart and have survived can these sort of conditions for hundreds of years so They can find a way to water the water looks like she's gonna go over there and uh, make her own See what she does trying to bust it a little bit but oh they'll figure it out oh yeah i told you it's the reason you put your tubs away far from the water because they these tubs once the protein's out of them they eventually uh turn into toys and they end up in your pond so well they'll figure this out i'm gonna leave them alone and let them come over here jackie you know whenever you're working out here in these conditions doing stuff like this like i've been doing in the cold um i can't help but think about what it was like as a native american um maya no leave them alone what it was like as a native american living in these type of cold conditions and uh, i know it's not as it's cold here for oklahoma um but in other places of the country that have dealt with a lot worse conditions maya maya no maya yeah maya come here leave the calves alone i know they dealt with a lot worse conditions but these bison are something to really think about during those conditions and those times of, of survival you talk about an essential very very essential animal uh to the natives existence especially on the plains and most of the plains native americans and how much just one bison provides uh you think about the uh, the hide Think about the how it's used in, uh, you know, obviously clothing and big coats and blankets and uh, teepees as, as the leather and, uh, you know, all those things. And then not only that, all those resources, but the resources of the food, obviously, during uh, these conditions, uh, you, you have to have food and water to survive, obviously. But um, just how much meat these animals provide and good healthy meat that these animals provide. And then, of course, the tools and stuff that, from their bones and whatnot. And 
um, intestines as bladder bags and things like that. So, uh, so many things you could go on and on about what a, a bison uh, provides um, and what it did provide to the Native Americans. So I love the Native American culture and always respected it, especially growing up here in Southern Oklahoma, I was able to uh, learn the culture and um, I'm always still trying to learn about Native American culture and um, it's pretty inspiring to me. And so, and uh, obviously raising bison, that's an easy connection to Native Americans uh, and the Native American culture because they depended on this animal so much. I just wanna say from Marissa, myself and Brooks, we just wanna thank you guys for watching and being a part of our channel and our journey. We've um, been doing this for four years now, so. Um, and we're blessed to be raising such a beautiful, majestic, and awesome animal. So thank you guys for watching us. Thank you guys for being a part of this entire journey of raising these awesome animals. And I hope you learn and know why we do it. And we, we put a lot of passion and hard work behind these animals. And um, we need to appreciate it. It's our national mammal. And they almost disappeared from us. And um, I'll have the opportunity to raise them now. So I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you soon. Keep branching. Come on.